All right, so uh, I actually picked, uh, so actually I'll just start talking uh, right from the start. Uh, so I actually picked this stage in particular because uh, uh, this stage actually has pretty good lighting in the beginning and uh, it's a decent area to uh, start with. And it's got, you know, um, uh, decent encounters. You have the Impusa, uh, a couple of them that spawn in the beginning and there's no wait time either. It just drops you right in and so, you know, I could, uh, when I was trying to grind for footage, I wanted something that I could easily uh, uh, go back and, uh, you know, do redos of. Uh, and, and this stage was, uh, the, this was the reason I picked this stage, yeah, more so for convenience sakes, in all honesty. And, uh, yeah, uh, so that there was that. Uh, let's see, I did that. Yep, so I was actually trying to catch the enemy with a summon sword uh, right here. Because uh, in SDT, uh, Virgil, when he does a. When he transitions from million stab to human, uh, he has uh, uh, hitboxes in front of him. And unless you fire a uh, specific summon sword near the end of it, the enemy will keep carrying Virgil forward. And unfortunately, I did fire a summon sword, but I was a little too early on it. And hence the reason why the enemy uh, wasn't quite caught with it. Uh, right here, uh, when I just did that right there, uh, typically if I do a perfect judgment cut and then do a sidestep and then just do a normal judgment cut, it's because I'm going for a, uh, you know, perfect sidestep judgment cut. Uh, it didn't actually pan out there, and uh, so that's why I, you know, did the normal judgment cut. But, you know, uh, that's what ended up happening there. And, and, and this is actually a setup that uh, I, I actually kind of like. It's a uh, SDT explosion launches the enemy, and then, you know, to freeze it in the air with heavy rain swords is, uh, is, some, is something I like doing. And, you know, the stinger fly. And... I was actually trying to uh, trick to the enemy and then uh, to buffer a judgment cut, but I did my input too quickly, and that's actually why uh, Virgil <laughs> swings in the air right here, uh, not actually doing anything. And then, at, but then, but then I would correct it. And so, something else that I also like doing as well is I like doing the follow up in SDT and Starfall. But the thing is, is in order to get the crossover for the additional kick in SDT, uh, you have to uh, wait for the enemy to drop a bit. Otherwise, Virgil will kind of just, you know, stand there in place. And so I realized that after I did it, that, oh, he's not going to do the follow-up. And so I turned it into a Rising Dragon instead, right there. And that was a jump cancel. That's a... Uh, that's another perfect judgment cut that I was doing right there. I usually default to doing judgment cuts uh, to essentially to fill in space uh, whenever I'm freestyling. And uh, yeah, so, oh, and the sidestep right there, that was intentional. Uh, and for, for this one, I actually saw the enemies coming up behind me. And so that's actually why I changed targets right there. And then I, I do a bit of jump cancels to uh, uh, mix it up a bit. I actually caught the enemy with a million stop that time, then the camera screwed me right there, unfortunately. Yeah, I, 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 that was actually supposed to be a perfect judgment cut, but uh, I messed it up, but it still, uh, you know, detonated a launch of the enemy. And, uh, oh, and, and I'm doing some, uh, oh, yeah, uh, that was, uh, that was me doing a reverse rapid slash. Uh, I was actually originally going to do the, uh, I did the sidestep there. I was actually going to, uh, go towards the enemy instead, but I have reversals enabled, so I can actually do reverse rapid slashes that, uh, allow me to, uh, yeah, you can still do reverse rapid slash out of the sidestep as Virgil, and, uh, because the sword is embedded, uh, it still launches it for detonation, and that was a mistake. Uh, when I did that starfall right there, uh, I was hoping it was close enough to the ground that it would do the follow-up kick. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out, and uh, hence, the, hence the reason why I uh, did the uh, uh, Mirage move that launches the enemy. 
and uh, yeah, I was, able, I was able to catch it this time. And this was intentional too, actually. So in, in the song, actually, uh, Defeat, uh, the one that I'm using for this video, in this specific section, at exactly around a minute and five seconds, there's actually a, a bit of a drop in the music in terms of tempo. A lot of the instruments come to a halt and it, it slows down a bit for a bass line to start. And uh, I wanted the uh, World of V trick down judgment cut cancel I did to happen during that point because uh, World of V actually has a fairly loud sound in the game at least. And I wanted uh, that to uh, you know show up during that part of the song. And then, of course, I was just going to cancel it, and which which I did into that, and that was a, a million style break there. And and something that uh, I've been trying to do more frequently, uh, and that's just because uh, I have a tendency to forget whenever I uh, freestyle. Uh, when I'm um, uh, doing this. When I'm summoning Doppel, I do the uh, lunar phase to get Doppel to do Rising Star uh, to launch the enemy. I am trying to remember that when you summon Doppel, you can actually still fire a summon sword to uh, you know keep the enemy uh, in the air, essentially. And uh, I just haven't grinded out the timing for it enough to uh, you know rely on it. And uh, yeah, and, and, and this is a setup that I actually like going for because uh, I've practiced it quite a bit. The uh, having the uh, doppel do um, roulette spin and then kill the enemy, uh, it did two additional swings afterwards. Uh, that, and that's just because I didn't disengage the uh, uh, doppel button fast enough. And then a, a rapid slash through uh, again. Uh, in the past, what I would do. Um, when I didn't know what I was doing in furry style because, you know, I'll, uh, I'll cross over an enemy or the, yo, Fixie, how's it going? Oh, th this is my, uh, this is my entry for, uh, Cryocore. Uh, I wanted to, because uh, I've actually had a lot of other players uh, critique my uh, play, and uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, play it and then, uh, you know, kind of give my thoughts and, uh, you know, what I was thinking when I was doing, when I was making this entry and making this video, and also just some, uh, you know, general uh, play style approaches to how I approach the game. And... Uh, yeah, like, uh, you know, like, uh, oh, like one of the, uh, yeah, uh, I think a little bit earlier, I was just saying right here, is that I do this, and then I summon Doppel, and so I'm actually having Doppel do roulette spin right there, while I'm doing the SDT ground combo uh, with Virgil. Uh, I was hoping I could actually de-summon Doppel after I killed the enemy, but I didn't realize it died, because... Usually when I summon Doppel and have the displacement like that, when Doppel's in the air and Virgil's on the ground, I'm actually looking at Doppel and then also checking, uh, you know, what Virgil is doing at the same time. So uh, I, I'm sure I'm sure the more I practice, it'll eventually, uh, you know, become a bit more second nature. But uh, you know, that's that's actually a setup that uh, I, I like going for quite a bit, uh, and, and just because I think it looks cool. You know, to have top will essentially kill the enemy up in the air like that. Yeah, then I do a rapid slash and then perfect judgment cut. And then I'm just, and then I was just mentioning a bit. Uh, so something else that I do a lot is uh, I like using the uh, sidestep that Virgil does in. Uh, how do you get Topple back on the ground? Uh, so there, there's actually a couple ways you can get. Uh, yes, changing the speed actually gets Topple back on the ground too. But if you do a perfect judgment cut, Doppel will teleport right next to you as well. Um, so, so that's something that, uh, and as an alternative. So yeah, no, it's it it, it, uh, it it's pretty cool actually. Uh, if you now the interesting thing is if you do a normal judgment cut on the ground, Doppel will not teleport towards you if you just do it once. And 
uh, you can actually buffer inputs for Doppel while doing the normal judgment cut on the ground, or the one where Virgil slides back. You can actually do a couple inputs for Doppel uh, while it's up in the air. So, yeah, uh, th th that's just some, uh, that's something I've noticed because I've, uh, I've done combos where I utilize both of them. Uh, I, I actually haven't really uh, messed around much with the uh, the speed setting of Doppel, in all honesty. I typically pick the faster input one um, just because a lot of these setups that I uh, practiced in the void uh, to do this displacement I got from uh, uh, using the faster version of Doppel. Yeah, and then that's just me doing the sidestep. And I do a per, uh, I do the cross center right there. And, and I was actually trying to chain a perfect judgment cut right there, but I messed it up. So I was like, oh, whoops, I'll just short hop and do a, you know, perfect judgment cut instead. And I was supposed to catch the enemy right there, but I didn't quite pay it out, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, and, and so that was the, uh, the first part of the, uh, my entry. And so, uh, so something else that uh, I've had other players uh, comment or talk about was saying that, you know, like the uh, first part of the video was, uh, you know, they liked the first encounter. They weren't too fond of the second or third encounter, which is fine. You know, I don't expect everyone to, you know, <laughs> like everything that I do when I make a video. But uh, the reason I picked uh, these stages in particular when I was going for my entry is that I wanted to demonstrate some enemy variety. Uh, I don't want to just, uh, you know, combo on only the Impusas and, you know, only the Scarecrow or uh, the Helicanas. I wanted to, you know, combo on some Riots, some Chaoses. Um, yeah, those are the other two. The Scudo Angelo, the Baphomet, and uh, I, th I, th I think, yeah, yeah, I had like, s around, oh, and the, and the Hellbats too. Uh, so yeah, I had around like six or seven different kinds of enemies that I wanted to, uh, you know, demonstrate that I could, uh, you know, effectively play against them. That was my reasoning anyways. But, so yeah, so this is the uh, uh, second part of the video. Uh, so in the beginning, I actually saw the attack coming and I dodged it with a trick down. That was actually a mistake right there. I was trying to do something else, but uh, I, uh, you know, recovered with just doing a rapid slash underneath. Uh, again, I like doing heavy rain swords to freeze the enemy, and this was actually a movement pattern that I was practicing a bit. I like so I like doing a million stab and then doing the lock off trick dodge. Uh, that's actually what I'm doing right here, like a lock off trick dodge and then continue the million stab. Uh, those were two missed inputs, uh, but it still worked out because I was able to destroy the spines right here. Uh, this was supposed to be a perfect judgment cut, uh, but that's okay. Uh, this was this was a mistake too, actually, because I was trying to do I was trying to do something else when I was switching between Yamato to uh, Mirage Edge, but uh, I did the input too fast, and so Mirage, so Virgil threw a Mirage Edge, and I was like, oh okay, so how do I recover from this? And so I use the Yamato to knock it up into that and then do the SDT combo right there. And then I did a bit of jump cancels here to demonstrate that I could do them. Uh, trick up, do the million, do the air stinger, and then for the reverse rapid slash for detonation. Now this was actually probably one of the coolest things I did. Like I really like this finish right here. And it just, and then the enemy dies. So that was, uh, that, that, that was probably one of my favorite uh, clips uh, in my entry. And uh, this one I started off by, you know, I, I was actually hoping that would, uh, oh yeah, uh, it, it was, uh, I, I, I really liked that. Like it, it actually took, uh, uh, I, I, think I, I think I did this uh, encounter like, um, for at least two hours practicing to try to get this uh to get this but yeah oh and i'm actually so i actually fire a summon sword to stop the enemy from uh you know flying back too much as i'm summoning doppel uh to you know catch it and then do that and 
than the uh, million slash finish. Yeah, because uh, I, I actually uh, there have actually been uh, a decent number of players who have uh, suggested that you know I use summon swords more, which you know is fine, uh, but uh, I actually use summon swords a decent amount in my freestyle. Uh, I get a lot of what I achieve and the uh, you know setups that I get. I fire a single summon sword, but I'm firing it like you know during certain attacks to make it so that the enemy's in the air in a specific position. So I have like you know really specific single summon swords I fire to either cancel knockback or get like a setup that I want. So I I actually do use summon swords, but it's just not you know quite as obvious as you know firing blistering swords or you know, doing the embedded or doing the embedded swords that launch the enemy, just because uh, I don't know. I I wanted to. Uh, I I like using summon swords, you know, as ways to uh, set up interesting uh, combo setups in freestyle, especially single fired ones. So I was actually hoping this would detonate and launch, but didn't quite pan out. Uh, this is me practicing a bit with the side step. And, uh, and and so so kick thirteen. One of the uh, player who uh, you know taught me a bit of Virgil hates the move, so I made sure to do it for my entry just for him. <laughs> and this is a bit of a sidestep right here. And again, oh, and, and this is actually where I go for another topple setup. Uh, I I actually I actually really like this one too because. Uh, and topple kills the enemy and I do a hop right there and this one I thought was cool because I'm actually going for a super right here but then I cancel it into uh, you know three perfect judgment cuts it has the uh, and uh, by the way that's something you can do on vanilla too uh, canceling supers using the sidestep I mean into perfect judgment cuts it only works on Judgment Cut End, though. Yeah, and, and that was supposed to be a crossover, but it was a miss input. Yeah, and again, the uh, Perfect Judgment Cut right there was supposed to be a sidestep one, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, now this is probably my best clip. Uh, I think so as well too. Um, it was. Uh, it took me quite a while to get this one. I like this and, and this doppel setup right here is really cool. Knock it into doppel, which then kills it. And these were two missed inputs right there, but then I recovered into that. The rapid slash, you know, some trick JDCs. Uh, that was also a misinput, but that's okay. And I, I like I like I like movement quite a bit, uh, especially when it comes to freestyle. Um, I might mean, it's it's really expressive to me, uh, as opposed to you know just tricking to the enemy. I like using moves to take me to the enemy. Uh, oh, this is cool. I really, I really like that. The sidestep perfect judgment cuts that I did right there. Oh, whoops, the screen. Oh no. Quality is too high. Hold on a second. Let me uh let, let me adjust the quality a bit. And go back a second. Alright, there we go. The million stab. Oh yeah, and the perfect judgment cut reversal into a trick down judgment cut reversal as the finish. So yeah, I I I, I am I I I'm honestly uh, you know pretty proud of the finish on this one because the uh, I, I mean uh, the perfect judgment cut reversal was already pretty cool, but uh, if you do a trick down judgment cut afterwards. Um, you get a float forward effect 
uh, kind of like this. And, and I got it in a kill cam, too. So I, I thought that was really cool. The only thing I don't like is that this pole is right here. <laughs> it's, like, right in the middle of the cam, of the kill cam, like, off to the left. And that was my only, you know, uh, major gripe with this, uh, uh, with this country. Or this clip, I should say, is that, you know, the pole's just right here. Yeah, and uh, the rusty pole, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but, yeah, but besides that, um, I liked, uh, you know, uh, overall, I liked the, uh, I, I, I really liked this clip. So, um, I'm, uh, quite a few uh, other players have told me it's probably my best one. And, and honestly, I agree with them. It's, uh, it demonstrates uh probably some of the probably my best stop will control uh and also my consistency with uh, perfect judgment cuts so so yeah that was uh that was my analysis of my own entry <laughs> from my own perspective essentially uh yeah uh and the uh uh, I actually had a different vision in mind uh, when I made this entry. So, the uh, the way the chorus goes in the song is uh, it goes, you know, defeat, inevitable, my destiny, defeat. And uh, every single time the chorus came up, I actually wanted to, uh, you know, make it so that, you know, the only gameplay elements I was doing was I was either staying on the ground you know, chaining perfect judgment cuts or using doppelganger. Uh, three things that, you know, a lot of other players who play a freestyle don't really do. And uh, I, I wanted to do that because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm well aware of, uh, you know, the, uh, I don't want to say bias, but um, tendency for, uh, you know, airplay and, uh, you know, in Devil May Cry and, a lot of the uh, style players who I watch, um, they stay in the air a lot. And, you know, it's essentially, you know, king, I should say, at least from, you know, a lot of the players I've observed. And I wanted to, you know, do something different uh, when I was, uh, you know, trying to develop my play style. I don't want to just stay in the air constantly and you know be super fast uh, i wanted a mixture essentially you know i wanted to stay in the air but i also wanted to go on the ground i also wanted to utilize doppelganger and you know i i, I just think perfect judgment cuts look super cool and the the movement aspect was something that i just started gravitating towards because uh, uh again as i mentioned um i find movement to be you know really expressive and uh, I like how it looks, uh, to me at least, uh, when I'm playing to, you know, have a bit of movement, whether that be the sidestep, you know, using a lock-off trick dodge, or, you know, using million stab. And, uh, yeah, and so that was why I, <laughs> that was why I actually picked this song. Uh, it was supposed to have a bit of, uh, you know, ironic significance. Now, unfortunately, I won, so I shouldn't say unfortunately, <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, I, I, I won my division, so uh, it, it's not quite as ironic anymore, uh, the song I picked. And, and actually, the uh, more I looked into the lyrics for the song, uh, I'm fairly certain it's actually talking about someone battling with depression. So not necessarily about, you know, losing something. So, yeah. Wow, that was a lot. So... Uh, does a does uh, anyone have any questions?